Hey YouTube, it's ICU and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 6 beta 4 for the iPhone 4, the iPhone 3GS, as well as the fourth generation iPod Touch. So before we begin, I just wanted to say that this tutorial is for developers and advanced users because this does not give you Cydia, it simply gives you SSH access to your device and then from there you will actually be able to install packages. So there is no graphical user interface, again you have to SSH into your device to then add packages or what you would normally install from Cydia. Also note that this is a tethered jailbreak and it only supports the devices I've just mentioned. Alright, so without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. First of all, you will need to download the latest version of Red Snow and I'll have a link to a post on my website down below in the more info that has download links to the latest version of Red Snow for both OS X and Windows based computers alike. Also, you will need to download your iOS 6 beta 3 or earlier IPSW, so any of the iOS 6 betas except for iOS 6 beta 4 and the reason for that is because Red Snow will not be updated anytime soon to incorporate iOS 6 beta 4 support, so we'll have to trick it into thinking we're on an earlier beta firmware when in reality we are on iOS 6 beta 4. And I will not provide the download links for any of the iOS 6 betas because you're supposed to officially get them through Apple's developer portal. However, of course there are ways to get around that, but I will not go over that in this video. Alright, and really quick, I'm just going to take this time to show you guys that my iPod Touch is indeed on iOS 6 beta 4 by going inside of Settings, General, About, and down below here at the bottom for the version, it does say it's 6.0, so you do know that I am on iOS 6 beta 4. All right, so what we're going to do first is simply open up Red Snow. And once Red Snow is open, go to Extras, and then click on Select IPSW towards the bottom. And then from here, you're going to browse for your iOS 6 beta 3 or earlier IPSW. And then once you've selected it, just go ahead and click Open, and then it will successfully identify your build. And once it's done that, you can click OK to that message, and then go back, and then we're going to select jailbreak this time. All right, now it has successfully finished preparing the jailbreak data. Again, all we really get for this option is the ability to install SSH, and you can also enable battery percentage if you're jailbreaking an iPod Touch. All right, so now that I have the option selected, I'm just going to go ahead and click Next, and now it will tell me how to enter DFU mode. Basically, it's just saying to make sure that your device is both plugged in and powered off, and then once it's detected that, you will hit the Next button, and then it will actually go through the process of telling you how to enter DFU mode. However, we can actually do that ahead of time. All you really have to do for now is just plug in your device to your computer via the USB cable, and then from there, hold down the Home and Power button together for a total of 10 seconds, and once that 10 seconds is up, you can go ahead and let go of the power button and continue holding the home button for roughly 10 to 15 seconds until this screen bypasses. And the good thing about doing it this way is you have multiple opportunities to try and enter DFU mode if you don't enter it the first time without actually having to restart the steps. So here we go, we are successfully in DFU mode. Please note that it is just a black screen, and once it's detected that, then it will go ahead and upload the jailbreak data to your device, and then from there it will actually go through the jailbreak process, which is what it's doing right now. Also, I will not cut anything out of this video so you guys can see approximately how long the entire process will take. And once it does finish booting up, we will have to go back and go through the just boot option. And again, that is because we are running on a tethered jailbreak, which means that every time you power off your device, you will have to plug it back into your computer and go through the process, which I'm about to show you.
All right, so there we go. Now that we have our device unlocked, I'm going to show you what has to be done because again, this is a tethered jailbreak. So right now we are okay to exit out of Red Snow and you actually want to exit out of it to make sure that you refresh everything. So just quit out of it when you get to this step and then open Red Snow again. And then we're going to go through the same exact process of going to extras, select IPSW, browsing for our iOS 6 beta 3 or earlier IPSW. Once it's selected, you can go ahead and click open. Once the build is identified, click OK to that. And then from there, this time you're going to select the top option, which is just boot. Again, we have a similar screen to when we're actually about to jailbreak, basically just saying to make sure that your device is both plugged in and powered off, and then it will go through the steps to enter DFU mode. However, we can do that ahead of time by holding down the home and power button together for a total of 10 seconds. And once that 10 seconds is up, you can go ahead and let go of the power button and continue holding the home button for roughly 10 to 15 seconds. And again, just note that the screen is black. If you've successfully entered DFU mode, it will automatically bypass that screen and it will go through the process of actually exploiting your device and then booting it back up. All right, there we go. Once it goes through this simple process, it will boot back up into its tethered jailbroken state. Again, we do not get Cydia for this jailbreak. We simply have SSH access. All right, there we go, it has successfully booted up. We can go ahead and unlock the device at this point. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. Again, just remember this is primarily for developers and advanced users. And if you did like it, please be sure to rate it up, leave any comments down below in the comment section, and be sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified every time I release new videos. Of course, I will have jailbreak tutorials for every firmware, so just be sure to stay tuned. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.